I'm reading a great book about hedge funds. It's called More Money Than God by Sebastian Malaby. He just wrote a new biography of Alan Greenspan in 2016. That's getting really good reviews. So what did hedge funds want to do when they started out and probably still do? Eliminate market risk. So the stock market can go up or down, and hedge funds sort of says, well, I don't care if the market goes up or down. Well, we can use what we've learned about data tables to try and show you how a simple hedge fund strategy works. So let's suppose you have $100,000, and you put $80,000 in stocks and $20,000 in cash. Now, what you don't know is the market return. So we can assume it might be anywhere between uh, minus 80% and plus 80%, let's say. Okay. So basically, as a function of the market return, okay, how would we do? Well, let's assume we, you got to have some ability if you want to sell people on the fact that they should invest with you. So let's suppose as a stock picker, you're 10% better than the market. So when you bet on a stock to go up and you buy it, it'll do on the average 10% better than the market. And the key to hedge funds is shorting stocks. And basically, you short stocks when you think they're going to lose money. Because basically, you short a stock and the stock's up 30%, you lose 30%. If the stock goes down 40%, you gain 40%. Now, the problem with shorting is you can lose an infinite amount of money. Stock goes up 200%, you lose 200% if you short. That's more than 100%. Stock down 100%, you gain 100%. Okay, you, and a stock can never go down more than 100%, so the risk is sort of not symmetric. So what we can do here is try and figure out the unhedged strategy, how do we do, with it? and then with a one-way data table, vary the market return. Then the hedge fund strategy is we had 100,000. Let's borrow 100,000 more. We'll put 130,000 long in stocks, stocks we think will do better than the market. And since we're smart, they'll do on the average 10% better than the market. And then we'll short $70,000 worth of stocks. And since we know something, those stocks will do 10% worse than the market. So let's take a look at basically how we would do with our run ahead strategy and our hedge strategy and run a data table on the market return to see how things go. So the unhedge profit would be we take the market return plus how much better we are than the market here. That would be 30%. And we would make that much on what we have in stocks. Forgot the parentheses. Okay. So we make 24000 there. And you can see the formula. Okay, so that'd be one app itself to our data table. Now, how will we do with this hedged portfolio? Well, basically, our profit on stocks would be pretty much what we had before on the stocks we were long. Okay, we would take the market return plus how much better we are, and that's going to be thirty percent in this case times one hundred thirty thousand. Okay, so we'd make thirty nine thousand. Now, the short stocks, how are we going to do? Okay, well, you do minus the market return because you shorted them. And you're going to do 10% better than that because you are smart at shorting. You'll short things that are really bad. And that would go times the shorted stocks there. And we'd lose 7000 there. Okay, so that would be a profit at the profit on the long stocks. Okay, plus the profit on the shorted stocks. So we'd make 32000 So we're better off here. We made $32,000 when the market went up. The interesting thing is when the market goes down, we'll be better off also. Okay, so that's what we mean, that we sort of can laugh in the face of market risk. So now we can do a data table. We can do minus 0 0.8, minus 0 0.7. This is the market return. And let's go through 0.8, whatever. Now, it's annoying that it puts a zero there. Okay, then the output cells would be the unhedged profit. And then the hedged profit. Okay, so one output cell would be here the unhedged profit. Here's the hedged profit. And so we do a one-way data table. Select the table range. We go data, what if analysis, data table. The column input cell would simply be the market return because that's what we don't know. But we can see if we take the difference, if we take hedged minus unhedged, and I could have made this another output cell. Maybe I should have.
Here's the hedged minus the unhedged. Way better. The market crashes, we're doing okay. Now, if the market does fantastic, though, we do worse. But most situations, the hedged profit minus the unhedged profit is going to be positive because we think we are good at picking stocks. Now, if we're not good at picking stocks, this doesn't work. Okay. In other words, if this were zero or negative, we would not be doing so well. But, I mean, you've got smart people working at hedge funds. They should be able to pick stocks that will do better than the market. Go long, for instance, the 10 stocks you think will do the best the next six months or year. And go short the 10 stocks you think will do the worst. And if you then short some and long, uh, go long some stocks and short some stocks, you can basically reduce or even eliminate the market risk. And that was the strategy most hedge funds used when they were starting out. Now it's gotten much more sophisticated, but still I think this is a good example to show you how you can, in a sense, neutralize market risk. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here, and with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.